Previously on MasterChef, the top 20 kicked off with a massive twist. You'll cook alongside everyone else from your home region. <laughs> Whoever cooks the best dish will also save their entire region from elimination that night. Oh. Come on, Tom, y'all got it. Tastes right to you? Could be better. Have cool. you ever fried lobster before? I haven't. We're about to find out. You've done it beautifully. Congratulations, Kyle. Oh. Look at that! Yeah, big blast. This regional oh, community oh. pin makes all the difference. You certainly would have been in the bottom. With this dish, you're not even playing the game. I just see garnishes. Just clunky. They just look sad. I'm so sorry. Say goodbye. Tonight, the first mystery box of the season is as American as <laughs> apples. And the tactics begin. Carl, you get to pick what kind of dish each region cooks. I'm excited to make them a little less comfortable. Let's go. As the cooks battle for the home region. You good? Definitely not in my wheelhouse. Oh, great. Not going to let you down again. Did you put salt instead of sugar on them? <laughs> the only thing worse than the dish is lying to us. I hate being lied to. First big mystery box challenge, yep. guys. Love the mystery box. This is always old exciting. School, old school. I love it. Oh, oh no. What do we got? I oh, told oh you. mystery box, baby. Oh, okay. It's the first mystery box challenge. I'm thinking, okay, here we go. What are they gonna throw at us? Okay, mystery box. Welcome back, guys. I'm excited, though, because I thrive on being a little bit uncomfortable and the unknown. Welcome back to MasterChef, United Tastes of America. Woo! I'm sure you can all see how focusing on regions is already making this season tougher than ever. Now, tonight is your first Mystery Box Challenge. On the count of three, Lift your boxes. One, two, three. Lift. Yeah. Not what I was expecting. <laughs> That's right. Apples. They're so tiny. Now, America is one of the biggest apple growers anywhere in the world. And there are all sorts of amazing apples in those boxes, like the Honey Crisp, the Fuji, the Gala, and of course the classic Granny Smith. Now, everyone thinks sweet, but there are loads and loads of savory dishes you can make with apples. I'm ready for this. James, give us an insight uh, tonight, what you'd love to make. Uh, where are we going? Are we going sweet or savory? I'm going savory. Love it. What kind of dish? A pork chop. Jennifer, you came into this competition with a sweet apple dish. Yes. So right, tonight, where are you going? I want to show you savory today. So mm. I'm thinking some lamb. Uh, Wayne, what are we thinking? Apple tartatan. Ooh, Take it love. sweet. I love that. Richie, what are we thinking? Second I saw these apples, I thought some sort of hickory smoked barbecue sauce. So I want to do some savory with it. Love that. Now, Kyle, as the winner of the immunity pin, tonight you've got a big advantage. You heard all those amazing ideas. Well, it doesn't really matter what they're thinking because two regions will make savory dishes. The other two regions will make sweet dishes. And you get to pick what kind of dish each region cooks. I'm powerful. This is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> so I'd like you to come on down. OK. Join your region and have a conflab strategize smartly. I'm not a super strong baker. I really hope Kyle chooses savory for the Northeast because it is a little bit easier to master. When it comes to dessert, baking's a bit more of a science. There's not as much room for flexibility. There's a little bit more wiggle room when it comes to cooking a savory dish. So can I presume we would like savory? Mm -hmm. So then the question is, who's the second savory? He's going to pick us for sweets. I think he probably will. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Love it. Let's go Midwest. OK, Kyle, let's start with your home region. Will the Midwest be cooking savory or sweet? They're going to be cooking savory tonight, Joe. Yeah. We got this. Talk me through that. You know, I think that savory is going to be an easier play today and that the sweet is really going to handicap the other regions. OK, so let's move on to the Northeast, Kyle. What are your thoughts? What will they be cooking? So I think they're going to be cooking sweet tonight. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Come on, Northeast. OK. Why the Northeast? Do you have like a vendetta against that part of the country or what? 
I'm excited to make them a little less comfortable. I think that the Northeast is a bigger danger to the Midwest region. Okay, so one savory, one sweet. How about the South? So they're gonna be cooking sweets as well. <laughs> Let's go. We got Let's you. Let's get it. Also excited to make them a little less comfortable tonight. I'm a little intimidated by the South. I got you. And that means you're giving the West savory. Hey, yes. that's what I'm talking about. Let's do Thank it. Thank you, bro. Let's go. <laughs> I'm not going to say anything ill about the West, but I think we're most afraid of these uh, Northeast and Southern regions oh. right now. That's <laughs> cold. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> I like being underestimated. Well, I can't wait to see how these picks play out. Let's do it. Now, all of you, remember, tonight we'll be tasting the top dish from each region. Whoever cooks the best dish overall will win the immunity pin. They'll be safe from elimination across the next challenge and keep their entire region safe from elimination tonight. We'll also taste the bottom dishes from the remaining three regions. And whoever cooks the worst dish from there, sadly, will be leaving the competition. Fight for your region, fight for your team. Yes, yes, yes. All right, you'll have one hour to cook your apple dishes. 60 minutes starts now. Good luck. Let's go, guys. Ah, Let's go. Come on, guys. Let's Don't waste too much time in that pantry, please. Yep. Yeah, Midwest. Represent. Oh, sorry. Excuse me. Let me have it. Excuse me, hon. Celery roots. Sugar, guys. Sugar, sugar, sugar. Vanilla. Butter, butter, butter. Ooh, nice. Come right behind you here, Grant. I'm feeling good about cooking a savory apple dish. I am more of a savory guy than a baking guy. We have so many wonderful apple orchards in the central Iowa area. So, you know, I think everybody in the Midwest is gonna be pretty good on these savory apple dishes, but I'm a little worried about Wayne. What else do I need, what else do I need, what else do I need? Oh my God, well, I like it right now. Wayne was looking for something on the sweeter side. I think he might need some help today. So hopefully the rest of us can put something on the plate that gets everybody safe from the elimination. Guys, that's four minutes gone, let's go. Oh. All right, James, let's do it. Team, let's go. All right, let's go. Midwest. I really am proud to represent the South. We know how to do dessert, so I think we're going to be fine. Beautiful. Let's go, West. Looking good. Y'all ready to take this challenge? 100%. We don't have beautiful apple orchards in Alaska like the rest of the West does, but we do have crab apples there. Kyle gave the West savory. So I am doing some scallops, green apple and celery root puree, apple chutney, and a crab apple salad. The scallops are not the star of this dish, and it would be easy for that to become the focus. I definitely feel like I'm pushing myself using a few new ingredients, but I'm excited to see how it turns out. Anybody need cider? I got it. Northeast. Thank you. We're good. Thanks, Ryan. Our man up there picked sweet for the Northeast. So I am making a ricotta donut. Apple everywhere. And then I have a cream cheese, whipped cream, icing. Ricotta donut is Italian dessert, so it's something that I'm comfortable with. Apples are one of the few fruits that we actually can grow in the Northeast. And uh, we're taking that pin, and we're safe tonight. Guys, 10 minutes gone, 50 minutes to go. Big night, first big mystery box challenge, and a big advantage from that immunity pin winner last week. Midwest looking good, you're 10 minutes in. Great start. Thank you, Kyle. And Kyle's nominated Midwest, his region, and the West doing savory, followed by Northeast and South doing the dessert. That's a tough call, right? Kyle's really keeping the South and the Northeast on their toes. 90% of them were leaning towards a savory yeah. because that is the easiest option, let's be honest. It's so much more difficult to pull off the dessert in 60 minutes. Wow. For sure. That's up for debate. I think there's so many classical apple desserts that should be come into play, whether it's a tartan, whether it's some apple churros, mm -hmm. many different things you can do but I still think it's way easier to do a delicious savory dish than dessert tonight. I think the Northeast and the South are in for some trouble. Right, Nina, tell me, what are you doing? I am calling this Sam and Mom's Apple Crumble. Sam okay. is my 10-year-old, and he is a budding foodie, and apple crumble is his favorite dessert in the world, but I'm, it's also Mom's, and I'm going to put some thyme in the crumble for a little bit of an adult flavor and a little bit of bourbon as well. So you're making a, a creme fraiche with a custard. Where are we going with this? I am going to do a stabilized maple whipped cream, and I'm also going to do a little bit of a fresh fruit salad on top of that. Kyle seems to be slightly intimidated with the strength of the Northeast. What does that say about your region? There's a lot of apples that grow in the Northeast, and so we all know what we're doing with them. I'm not worried about us at all. Good luck, yes. Thank you. Uh, Midwest, it's smelling good. We got this. Apples coming out of my ears. 
Hello, Wayne. Hey, guys. Don't, don't, you're not making risotto again, are you? That was enough. <laughs> that risotto would have taken you straight home. Well, I'm going to make up for it today, guys, I promise. So what's the dish? It's a harissa rub scallops, right. and we're going to have an apple and fennel uh, puree, and it's going to have an Israeli couscous with apples, fig, and just lightly dusted with the harissa spice that I've got to make. You don't have to have apples everywhere. Make sure it's balanced and it yes. makes sense, because yeah. we have to eat the dish, too. Yeah. yeah. Is that Israeli couscous you're That's cooking Israeli from couscous. dry? I'm toasting it right now. You know, the, the process with, with couscous is not so different than risotto. Oh, great. Good luck. Got dinged last week for bad technique, so I need to prove that my cooking skills are good enough to be here. As a business guy, sometimes you take some fails, but I can't make the same mistake twice, or I could be leaving this kitchen today. My apples. Come on. First mystery box of the season, apples. Someone's winning the immunity pin and saving their region. I feel like the Midwest is under control. I like this. We look like master chefs. Thank you, Kyle. Kyle's team, they're doing what they wanted to do, which is savory, because it's a little bit easier. He also gave the West savory. I think in his mind, the West is a weaker team. There's only four of them. He really wants to challenge and put to the test the South and the Northeast, giving them sweet, because it's very difficult to do. Yeah. Guys, 40 minutes to go. Let's go. Where my salt go? Where my salt go? Do you have an extra whisk, babe? No. No. I'll grab you. Can you grab one for me, too, Yeah, babe. I, I'm glad I got sweet, because I want to open up my dessert shop, and which is going to be uh, all different type of desserts from all over the world. I'm making rice pudding with cardamom and rose with apple in it. I got a little. <laughs> hiccups here because my milk curdled twice. So I'm a little behind on my rice. So if it doesn't come out, the rice might be uncooked. Richie, talk to me. What's the dish and what apple are you using? I'm using the black Arkansas apple and mm -hmm. I'm doing a honey spice cupcake with an apple filling on top Love and that. a tarragon whipped cream. That's a tall order. It is. How are you gonna get the batter done? Have you started the batter? I've just started. I got my butter melting right now. Mm -hmm. Butter gotcha. won't take me too long. It's just letting it sit in that oven. Last time round with the dessert, it was very disappointing. I'm hoping you climb that ladder tonight. Yes. That's my goal, chef. That's okay. my goal. Get those cupcakes in the oven. Thank yes. you so much. Good luck. Apples are in. How's those knife cuts, James? You know, looking pretty good. I love it. You guys are all cooking bacon back here, and it smells really good. You know you want it. I do. Make sure y'all salt and taste everything. And make sure y'all get y'all plates. Yes, thank you. Oh, I almost forgot. Thank you, James. You're welcome. Kennedy, Hello. how are you? Hello. Pork loin. Yes. Pork tenderloin, sure. Kennedy, do you feel like you got a buy with the savory designation? I definitely think that I got a buy. I, I, def I cook savory a lot more than I cook sweet. And I know pork like the back of my hand. My mom used to cook pork in like the crock pot. So this is like an homage to my mother today. So I'm going to do a pork tenderloin with apple two ways. I'm going to do an apple butter gravy and then a pickled green apple, fennel, and red onion salad. Yeah. I love the pork turn and loin. Very underappreciated. Only yeah. if it's done right. It has to be exactly. done right. But it's, it's a beautiful canvas. Yeah. All right. Good luck. Thank you so much. Mm. How you doing over there, Sal? I'm all right. That don't sound convincing. What's going on? I was talking my caramels got too dark, but that's OK. All right. Uh, Reagan, how are we doing? I am well, how are you? Tell me about the dish, what are we doing? I am making flambe apples over a shortcake. A shortcake, like a tower? Yes, Love like that. a tower. What does that say that Carl wants you to do a dessert? He's very afraid, as mm. he should be. The South, we are a threat. We know flavor better than any other. And we're going to bring it today. Isn't that right, guys? That's yes. right. Bring it right. And put Carl back in his box. We're going to yes? put him right back where he belongs, That's down right. there. Good luck. Yes, sir. I love you, Reagan. <laughs> Kendall, you good? I got an idea. If, if I can pull it off, I think I might be all right. Kendall, how yes, you feeling? Yes, sir. Well, this is definitely not in my wheelhouse. Right. Do you think Carl's dealt your dysfunctional card? Because I don't think you have many exciting desserts up your sleeve. I, I do not. That is my wife's uh, wheelhouse. I don't have her here today, so I'm going to do a, shir a churro. I'll put some apple through the food processor to substitute for some of the sugar. Churros with Aron Sanchez in the house tonight. I'm hoping he doesn't fry me, that's for sure. Well, he will take you to task. I hope I can put something on the plate that y'all uh, like. But where's the dough? Where's the well, churro I'm, dough? I'm just getting it boiling here, and then I'm going to put that to There's work. 25 minutes gone, and that's all you've done is just. No, I'm actually working on some garnish stuff as well. I'm hoping to try to do an apple, the, the duck, 
where you have the apple coming out, and uh, we do an, that. An apple what? An apple duck. Where you slice the sides and yes, you sir. pull out the sides like they do in Chinese restaurants. Yes, sir. That's what I'm hoping to just give me some kind of a pop on my plate. Apple duck. Is that no good, you think? Listen, the duck. Okay. Just concentrate on the churros, OK? <laughs> yes, please. sir. Yes, okay. sir. Come on, Jennifer, uh, push him, please, yes? Yes. Are you doing OK? Yeah. Thankfully, it did not curdle this time. It looks good. Oh, baby. So the northeast, they're going down the sweet route. Northeast, are we all good? All good, my guy, all good. Richie, he's going to kick off with a cinnamon and apple cupcake. But the cupcake batter is not in the oven yet. That's a bit of a problem. Yeah. <laughs> so right now he's backed up. And on the heels of Richie's dessert from last week, man, he's got some redemption to do. He may be in a real bad position. Yeah, I'm worried. Uh, Richie, is that batter in the oven? It's it in the is oven right in the now. oven. Yes. Let's go. Good. I'm on top of it, guys. I got you. I got you. I promise. Not going to let you down again. Hey, friend. Kendall, yep. how you doing? Uh, we're coming along. OK, good. Hopefully, get it in your piping uh, bag, and let's get yep. it in your grease, OK? Yep, I yep. know you can do this. Kendall, from the south, he's doing a churro, but he is so unfamiliar with desserts. He looks so vulnerable. And the whole thing with a churro, it's something that you get typically in a paper bag, just like with, with cinnamon sugar. So where's the elevation happening? Maybe he can pipe something in there and take it to that next level. Yep. But apple needs to be present throughout the churro. Right now, uh, the guy is in trouble. 30 minutes gone. Halfway, guys. Halfway. We got white wine. Anybody got white wine? Oh, no, but I'll use some, too, if you get it. I get it. <laughs> How's it going, Richie? My cupcakes are in now. I'm going to check it with the light. Oh, damn it. I'm a little nervous right now. Every single time I look, the cupcakes are in the same place when they should be rising. And I'm not quite sure what it is at this point, but I can tell something's not right. I think I need every minute. Last week, I was in the bottom three, and I don't want that to happen again. So I'm slightly concerned about Richie's cupcakes. He is really struggling. They look like they need a little more time. He's very lost, isn't he? There's a real chance he might not do this. Yeah. Oh. Come on. 25 minutes remaining. Let's go. Come on, man. Please make mm. sure the apple's incorporated. Let's go, Midwest. Smelling good back here. And we got white wine. Let me know when you need it, Sarah. All right, thank you. I'll need it at the end, really. Charles, all you got to do is ask the Midwestern mom to open your <laughs> wine for you. Pour that in my mouth when you're done. Oh, I got you. I got you. How's your pasta, Grant? It looks beautiful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I just switch up the shape a little bit. That's gorgeous. That's gorgeous. All right, Charles, what's the dish? I am going to do a red snapper with fish scales, but I'm going to replicate it with these crimson gold apples with white wine applesauce. Are you making reference to the famous dish where they make potato scales on the fish, right? Is that uh, your reference? I've never seen that. Have you ever done anything like that before? I'm going to give it a try today. It's going to be pretty concentrated and sweet on top of fish, all yeah. that apple. What if you got a potato? and have like 60% potato and 40% apples in the structure of scales. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. On an gotcha. edibility basis, it's going to be much better yeah. okay. and more balanced. That sounds more doable. Yeah, yeah. yeah but you got, you got a lot to do. This is okay. a complicated dish. Yeah. yeah. Good luck. Oh, damn it. That's the better color I'm looking for. Stop, you good over there? Kendall, you good? I don't know. We're still we're making the first batch. So okay. we're at least going to try it and do it. Let us know if you need anything. I don't will. overcrowd that. Yeah, I got four in there. Uh, right, uh, Jennifer, uh, tell me about the dish. What are you doing? I am making a spiced apple cake with a brown sugar cream cheese frosting. I've got a, a caramel drizzle that I'm going to add in. A spicy apple cake is very southern, and so I absolutely hope that this can get me up the front. Carl's put the target on your backs I for know. a reason. I know. So you have to get this dish to immunity pin level. Yes, Good luck. Chef. Thank you. We're down to the last 15 minutes to go. Last 15, guys. Let's go. We got this, guys. Let's go. Let's go. All right, come on. Lizzie, Hello how there. are you, young lady? I'm good, how are you? What are you making? I am doing um, pan-seared scallops with a green apple and celery root puree, a honey crisp chutney, and a crab apple salad. So the apple is present three different ways. Yes. I want to make sure the apples are the star and not my scallops. Pretty impressive if it all works. Yes, thank you, chef. 11 minutes. 
<gasps> Smelling good in here, Midwest. Smelling good. So we're in the Midwest. They're doing savory. That's good. Charles was quite concerning to Joe and I. He, he wants to do a red snapper and using the apple as sort of a faux scale on top of the fish skin. That will not work. Yes, I know. And secondly, the skin on the snapper is delicious. Why try to replace that with something that won't work? I told him to consider more potatoes than apples as the skin. Mm -hmm. It's a super risky dish. I'm kind of concerned about that. We're down to the last five minutes. Ooh. OK. It's looking good. It's looking good. Puta. Anyone have cinnamon on their station? Yeah. Thank you, love. Whew. Come on, man. Ryan, I want those donuts. Yeah, right. You want to toss one up here? I'll catch it in my mouth, I promise. Oh, bro. Moist. I said apple cider donuts are my favorite. You killed it. Give me it. that damn pin. Give me that pin, baby. I'm glad I made you guys do a dessert. 90 seconds to go, guys. Let's go. Get ready to plate, guys. Get ready to plate. Richie's cupcakes, they're not even full. They, they didn't rise. They didn't yeah. rise at all. So they're going to be dense. Yep. Oh, damn it. My cupcakes didn't rise. I'm running out of time, and there's not much I can do to save them at this point. And then I realized I'm missing baking powder. I don't know how I made this mistake. It's not a mistake I normally make, oh. but I don't have time to fix it now, and I got to get something on the plate. Shoot. I know my ass is on the line, and I'm probably on that bottom three, so I don't know what to do. I'm hoping that someone in the Northeast can pull it through for me. <sighs> Coming down to the last 30 seconds remaining. Let's go. Take these things. Have confidence, Kendall. You're a dessert man now. 10, 9, <laughs> 8, eight seven, 7, 6, Five, four, three, oh two, God. one, and hands in the air! Woo! Go! Go! Well done! You got it, my love. You got beautiful. it. Beautiful. Oh, you got it. Good job, guys. What's that? Couscous? Israeli, couscous. Israeli couscous. Oh my gosh. I think that's what it is. I've got my bags packed. I am extremely concerned. I don't feel like this dish is elevated enough to uh, to stay, and I definitely do not feel like it's worthy enough to reach the top. In the last two weeks, I've, I've been the weak link. Yeah, I'm just trying to survive at this point. Kyle's decision definitely screwed me, that's for sure. Right, tonight, you have to use the apples from your mystery boxes to create incredible dishes. Some were sweet, some were savory, based on Kyle's input. OK, Kyle, it is time to hand over that immunity pin to someone else. So come on down, Kyle. So my strategy tonight was to levy a penalty against the Northeast and the South and see if we can send somebody home. I think it worked, but we'll see. Right, now Joe, Aron, and myself want to take one last close look at your dishes. Wayne. Yes, sir. This is a very challenging kind of couscous. Do you feel you cooked it through? Yes, I do. Uh, Charles, what is this? This is a white wine sauce. Did you burn the alcohol out of the wine? I blend it in there. Did you burn it? No. So you have uh, raw alcohol in the sauce? Yes. Thank you. Looking around at the other dishes in my region, I think we all did a fantastic job. It makes me angry that Kyle doesn't see the West as a threat. We have some phenomenal cooks on our team. All right, Kennedy, you did justice to the pork loin? I sure did. I do get intimidated by the judges when they walk around, but I know the insight they have to offer is just invaluable. Right, Lizzie, you happy with that color on those scallops? Yes. OK. A little overcooked, maybe? No. Interesting. OK. This challenge was definitely harder than I thought it was going to be. Did you taste it? Yeah, I did. Taste right to you? It was a little bit extra sugar, I felt. You lift a mystery box and see something as simple as apples, and you're like, I'm going to knock this out of the park. Do you taste the apple? Then you get to cooking and realize it is not as easy as you think it's going to be. You're away. What? Like a rock. Definitely not happy with the texture of these cupcakes. It's just missing baking powder. But they don't seem too happy with me, and I'm probably going to be in the bottom three, and I am terrified. Jennifer, in terms of the layers, is that what you wanted? Yes. Thank you. 
This is the whole dish? Yes, sir. I'm going to call it Kyle's Shiro's because my good friend Kyle had to throw me a nice curveball. Any taste this? The seasoning. Did you put salt instead of sugar on them? No, sir. I put sugar and cinnamon and... Um, There's salt on them. There's salt. But they're right? like salty like french fries. There's no sugar on these. OK. Well, maybe I made a mistake there. Salty churros. You ever heard of such? Baby. Mm. Yeah, that one up. It's a disaster. <laughs> oh, man. Sometimes you up and I up. I went from one of the best dishes a couple weeks ago in audition to one of the absolute worst in a couple of weeks. So I'm praying for the South to pull through with the immunity today. Now, we'll be tasting the best dish from every region. And the winning home cook will earn the immunity pin, which will keep them safe from elimination next week. And more importantly, keep their entire region safe from elimination tonight. The first dish we'd like to taste is from the Northeast. It played homage to their region and really did elevate the apples. Please come forward. Nina. I made bourbon apple crumble with oat pecan topping, a maple whipped cream, and a raw apple salad as a garnish. I love the fact that the crumble's peeking out of the cream, and I see that you want to show off with your knife work with that little garnish. I can't wait to taste it. For a simple dessert, there's a lot of technique. Each component has its reason for being there, and that cooking technique contributes to a great flavor implosion and contrast on my palate. I like it very much. This has a tendency to go dry quick, and it didn't. So I really appreciate the way you cooked on the apples, because it's adding moisture. All right. The dish is good. I'm going to commend you on the ratio. It's perfectly done. One third crumbled, two thirds apple. So apples are in abundance. You just want to go back in for the second third spoonful. Oh, really good. Well done. Thank you very much, guys. Appreciate it. Yeah. Good job. The next dish that we would like to taste is from the south. Please come forward. Jennifer. Good job, Jennifer. Let's go south, baby. I am so proud of this dish. Everything came together so nicely right on time. <laughs> Desserts are my sweet spots. I feel an immense amount of pressure to save the south. I made an apple spice cake with a brown sugar cream cheese frosting and a caramel drizzle. Jennifer, I really appreciate the apples. You can see them kind of speckled throughout the actual cake. Yeah, it's rustic, it's charming. Mm -hmm. Shall we? The cake's delicious. I can feel those textures of apple caramelized. It's light, it's fluffy, but it's got apple in abundance. Great job, really good job. This is a well-seasoned dessert. The beautiful cinnamon that's throughout the cake goes so perfectly with apple, and then the frosting is bringing it all home. Thank you. It's really quite good. For elevating a home dessert, it's about as, as good as it can be. Thank you. All right, then. OK, the next dish we want to see more of is from the Midwest. Please come forward. Wayne. Right. Come on, Wayne. Yeah. I'm feeling relieved, redeemed, exhilarated. Keep the immunity in the Midwest. Got it. I want the immunity pin, and when the Midwest wins twice in a row, I'm going to show those other regions that we're here to play. All right, Wayne, tell us about the dish. So I made a harissa spiced scallop with an apple fennel puree, spiced apples, and a beautiful Israeli couscous. The couscous looks properly cooked. The puree looks smooth and velvety. I like the plating. Top-notch presentation. Thank you. Hey, Wayne, this is a great performance. The puree works beautifully with the scallops. Absolutely spot on. Really good job. Thank you. You did an excellent job in riding that fine, fine line and balancing a sweet, savory dish. Thank you. For me, double up on the harissa. It needs that little bit of heat. 
to kind of cut down that sweetness. But other than that, all on point. Thanks. Nice. Great job, Wayne. Yeah, Wayne. Way to represent the Midwest. Heck yeah. Right, the final dish representing the West. Really made smart use of those apples tonight. Please step forward. Kennedy. Today I made a pork tenderloin over a parsnip puree with an apple butter gravy and a pickled green apple salad on top. Presentation is off the charts, it's beautiful. It's apparent the apples are in abundance. I can't wait to dive in. Thank you, Chef. Uh, dish is delicious. Puree is spot on. Silky smooth, everything you want from a parsnip puree. I think the refreshing thing for me is to taste food this elegant so early on in the competition. Thank you, Chef. You're at home here. I can taste it. Good job. <laughs> Thank you so much, Chef. The pork tenderloin is underappreciated. You celebrated it. You cooked it perfectly. For me, I just would maybe like to see a little bit of heat. Just hit it with a little bit of chile, a little chipotle, just because I like spice. Thank you, Chef. It's kind of like a textbook example of home cooking or comfort food. A very, very well thought out, balanced dish. Thank you so much. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, Kennedy. Yeah. Good job, Kennedy. <laughs> Thank job, you. You four, give us a moment, please. Excuse us. So, sit up on this one. Uh, four extraordinary dishes. No matter who wins, it's nice being up here. Oh, Isn't it? For sure. What a gift. But I think uh, one dish stood out the most, no? Oh, for sure. It's a winner. Yeah. You agree? Yeah. I'm with you. Really great. Yeah, yeah. Happy? Yeah. Four amazing dishes tonight. The creative energy was there, and the execution was second to none. But unfortunately, there's only one immunity pin and one winner tonight. Congratulations goes to... Four amazing dishes tonight, but unfortunately there's only one immunity pin and one winner tonight. Congratulations goes to... Jennifer. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, thank you. Congratulations. Kendall must be really excited. Yeah. Oh, my God. There was a lot of pressure on me today, but I got the pin. This feels amazing. You win the immunity pin, you're going to be safe in the next challenge, and you've also saved your entire region tonight. Grab your team and head up to the balcony. Well done, Thank Sal. Save out of the bail. All right, bud. I 100% owe Jennifer one. The Southern gods have blessed me today. Hey, thanks, Kyle. Now, Kendall, you didn't just cook the worst dish of the South. Those are one of the worst churros we've ever tasted in the MasterChef kitchen. If it wasn't for Jennifer, you'd definitely be the one going home tonight. 100%. Now, there is one dish from each region that we felt really missed the mark tonight. The first dish we'd like to investigate further, from the Northeast. This individual just did not get their timing on point. Please step forward. Richie. Sorry, Rich. It's OK. I wanted to make cupcakes, but they didn't rise on time. Richie. So. I'm switching it up and calling it a home cake instead of a cupcake. I don't want the judges to have to eat this, but I have no choice. Right, young man, what's the dish? So this was a nod to my grandmother. She used to make home cakes with no leavening. They were meant to be placed underneath the sauce, and then the sauce would soak it up. I made spiced home cakes with an apple compote on top with a tarragon whipped cream on the side. What are you calling them? Home cakes. Who? Home cakes. Home cakes. Didn't you start calling them cupcakes? Did they become home cakes as so, they lost their levitation? No, they they are a play on my grandmother's recipe. But why did you change from where them. you started to where you ended? What would you call them? I just wanted to call them what they are. You wanted to call them what they became? Apples look like a bit of an afterthought. Are there apples included in the batter as well? No, so I wanted the apples to sit on top. Gotcha. 
How long did you bake the home cakes for, please? For about 20 minutes. And is that the texture you wanted in the middle? Yeah, so that they could soak up that sauce. I didn't want them to be too soft and get a little mushy. Um, so there's an issue, I think, with the ratio of how you weighed out those ingredients. And the recipe doesn't seem like it's on point. The actual apple's caramelized. Yeah, that's the kind of thing I'd love to see inside those home cakes. So uh, it's Mr. Mark. You kept talking about the sauce being soaked into them. You need a bowl of that stuff to make these have moisture. The cream is the only saving grace on this whole dish, and it has nothing to do with apples. Just to give you an idea, these things have like the density and the weight of a rock. It's a fossil. Cupcakes, home cakes, call them what you want. They're no good. Respect that. Thanks, Richie. Thank you. So intense. All right, Richie, Rich. It's choice now. OK, the next dish we need to investigate from the Midwest. Please come forward. Charles. You're all right. You got You're all right, Charles. Charles. To hear that I am in the bottom three is very disappointing. I didn't know that it was wrong for me to put raw white wine in my dish, but I must own up to it and learn from my mistakes. Today, I made a pan-seared red snapper with apple and potato scales and a white wine applesauce. And then I put some jalapenos in there for color. This looks all kind of wrong, all right? The idea of white wine, apple, and jalapeno, and then you just told me jalapeno is for color. Think about how that sounds. All right. More than that, the only place for unrendered white wine yeah. is in your glass yeah. while you're drinking and cooking. This is like the basics. These are the mistakes that when you come and present yourself at MasterChef, you can't make. These are the mistakes that when you come and present yourself at MasterChef, you can't make. Gotcha. Show me. Here's the good news. Fish is cooked beautifully, but the puree uh, does not work. It's a shame because you've got the technical flair, but you just didn't execute it properly. Thank you, chef. It's almost like a tale of two dishes because the potato crusted fish is actually quite good. But you committed some major errors in technique and the basic principles and rules of cooking. Thanks. Thank you, Charles. Thank you, Charles. Let's go, Charles. You're all right, Charles. So the final dish that we need to see more of from the West comes from a cook who definitely had confidence, but seemed more concerned with adding an abundance of apples than cooking their protein. Please come forward. Lizzie. Love you, Lizzie. All right, Lizzie. Yeah, Lizzie. Lizzie, can you please describe your dish? I made pan seared scallops and a green apple and celery root puree with a crab apple salad and a sweet apple chutney. Visually, it doesn't look right. The scallops are hammered, they're just way too severe. I hope that's a nervous smile because you made a lot of mistakes here, Lizzie. Let's get in there, shall we? So you can see right there, you've absolutely cremated the scallops. The actual apple puree tastes good. It's just the composition of the dish. It's just way off. Yes, chef. Yeah, Lizzie, don't get enamored with too many techniques. You gotta get the basics right. Actually, the puree, the bacon, and a little bit of that scallop that's not overcooked is a pleasant bite. Thank you. At this point, the level is so high. I wanna have food that's thought out, I want to have food that has a narrative. Give me some thought behind the dish. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lizzie. Thank you. Right, uh, Richie, Charles, uh, Lizzie, um, give us a moment, please, because right now we've got a very difficult decision to make. Uh, excuse us. So, um, Richie's, I preferred he'd owned it in a way that, look, I didn't pivot, I got the batter wrong. Yeah. The only thing that was worse than the dish is his lying to us. I hate being lied to. So, uh, Lizzie. It was a pleasant bite yeah, once you fennel, got it all together, yeah. Fennel, apple, scallops, great choice. Yeah, the scallops were just overcooked. And then, of course, Charles, I mean, Charles. there was fundamental issues from jump. Mm -hmm. But the one thing that saved was he cooked that fish well. Uh, beefy, done. 
The big question is, who did the worst job celebrating the apple tonight? This is so crazy. It's so intense. It's great. You both got this. Richie, Charles and Lizzie. Sadly, you cooked the worst dishes across your regions tonight. And one of you just cooked for the last time inside the Chef kitchen. After discussing everyone's dishes, the home cook that will be leaving the Chef kitchen tonight is... Richie. Charles, Lizzie, say goodbye to Richie. Head back to your stations, please. Richie, uh, tonight was a bit of a mess, young man. You missed the mark. And whilst you tried to pay homage to Grandma, uh, the dish was just nowhere near Master of Standard. I understand. Right, young man, come on and say goodbye. Come on. It's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you for everything. Good luck, guys. I'm not done cooking, please. Please continue. I love you guys. Good luck to you, Thank my you very much. Thank you so much, guys. It was an honor, absolute honor. I know that I messed up today, but I'm super proud of the things that I've done. This has been the craziest experience. When I first came to the MasterChef kitchen, I was overly confident. And being thrown in that kitchen, you find out very, very quickly what your weaknesses are. So it's just motivation okay. for me. Time for me to go back home, study up, and become a better chef. Rock the Northeast for me. Love, love you, Richie. Love you, Richie. Love you. Bye, Richie. Next time on MasterChef. Oh! The first team challenge of the season kicks off with a bang. Today, all of you will cook for firefighters. And you, Jennifer, will decide which regions are teaming up. We want to pair up with the Midwest. Do you think that's a good decision? We're two people down, so we got to communicate. Here they come, guys. We just how gotta... long? Tell me how long. Two minutes. We don't have two minutes. Everything cooked to your liking? It's completely raw. raw. That's terrible. I want them done Thank perfectly. You. Okay. Raw New York strip. We're out of potatoes. We're going to burn them. How is this still happening? This is the first time we've never served an entire dining room. This is embarrassing. I want to die. One potato, two potato.